It's a touch again Hi. um back again like backstreet we're joined this week by dan bird dan bird say hello hello that's dan bird that is He's more in sync than in sync if you follow us on any social media all the stuff that looks a bit like a 10 year old <laughs> has done it then that's me yep if it looks really really good dan bird did it that's just fyi thank you um so yeah, we're really excited this week. It's gonna we're gonna be talking the absolute shower that is Manchester United. We're also gonna talk about uh, racism in football, about the Player of the Year nominations, bang average Premier League players, you know, feedback. It's a good one. Mm. Also, I just wanted to say happy birthday, Ben McDonald. This one's for you. Designing football now is important. It's very important. We we are joined today by our friend slash designer. Design. A designer, design icon. <laughs> design icon. Uh, that is Dan Bird. Uh, Dan does all of our stuff and makes our shambles look really pretty. Some work in studios. One thing led to Ever another, since. and now you yeah. really led you to somehow our, 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 our paths crossed and <laughs> maybe, maybe uh, I got stuck with you. Do you know, Dan, I hate to say, do you know what this synergy. is? Synergy. Pinnacle. <laughs> Top of the mountain, baby. And off the back, <laughs> like you're saying, obviously you, you you're a fan of the football itself. So yeah, it was easy easy transition. Do, to just follow the football. Smack up a few bits and pieces for, for our little thing, which uh, includes football and that. Yeah. How important is design? I love, I love, I love how simple you make it. All. Part of design is actually how the Premier League's designed. It's iconic yeah. in its approach. Oh. The last two, three seasons, it's just grown. Yeah, with, the, and it's been on trend with with the colour palettes used as well as the the sharp yeah, design. Yeah, design. Yeah, the 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 Premier League rebound was awesome, fantastic, and also the fact that they. I, I love the fact that they shortened it to Premier League as well. Yeah, I do think. Get rid. I do think though. To be fair, a lot of stuff in football needs better design. Yeah. I, I, it's it's not exactly a good scene for it. Mm. Um, uh, <laughs> You you and you can you can see that when uh, when some clubs like the Juve rebrand mm. get slated like mad. That was that great when, when it first comes yeah. out. But it's it's that was oh, it's beautiful. You know my yeah, it's the, wonderful. It's, beautiful. it's very nice. When when a rebrand is done well, it you can still you can still remember all of that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can still have uh, great memories of, of all of that and and still yeah move into. Mm more modern times right it? a lot of it is just stuck in its old ways so, we... my least favorite part of the week man united let's just do it let's just blitz through it really quickly let's just go there okay why so why so harsh <laughs> Is there any need for the negativity spewing out of the orifices yes. of all Man United players Cast right now? Cast your mind. Ex-Man United players the worst. There's no support from whatsoever. <laughs> fickle, fickle, fickle. I'm looking at you, Rio. It's th- I'm right. looking at you, Paul. I'm looking at you. Uh, Gary Neville's got a good point. It's undertones of just such anger, which I don't understand for the situation Man United are in. Yeah, it's a bad result. Whatever. Get on with it. Long gone are the days where you beat PSG in the Champions League, respectfully. Yeah. Long gone is that. Don't worry. Just a week ago, you just saw the magnificence of Leo Messi score against you, where yeah. everyone applauding is basically a standing ovation this season. What are you? What are you fighting for anyway? What are you going to moan about? Right. To get top four or what? <laughs> There's nothing to play for. Get over yourself. God. Uh, spoken like a true Arsenal fan. <laughs> You're used to mediocrity. We're not. Yeah. That's and how one. detrimental is that to the club? Right. The main issue at the minute with Manchester United, I agree with you, there's a lot of ex-players who service their own agendas. Um, and Paul they, Scholes, don't shut up. Now he's Paul Scholes is one of them. To, he's the worst probably for it, and he's my favourite ever United player. It's the most... One people, of any... Well, up yeah. until, even in certain parts of the country, we're called Manchester. 
no, Man City are brilliant. Pro but we still get called Manchester. No, we still get called <laughs> Manchester. My point is that this is a very, very great club, and I think the same about Liverpool. I still think the same about the absolute mess that some of those clubs have been left in. Aston Villa, Leeds United. These clubs are huge clubs. Forest, Derby. They're massive, but they have Didka, been mishandled. Yately, They've been mishandled Winners. over the years. These players are commodities. Right. It's, it's not yeah. no longer like the the wonderful game that it is. You need to get players at their right age in order to sell on. That does make yeah, no, that's true. Financial that sense, even though it it just has its own set of issues. Right, there is an argument to be made, but yes, you are correct in that the way that you do it is you try and make sensible signings. However. Where I would argue that that's not what United are doing is making Alexis Sanchez one of the highest played players in the league. <laughs> Where that's not happening is mm. offering Paul Pogba a pay rise that's just stupid. at the start of the season okay. when he is he's obviously not listening to your manager. You offer him a pay rise. Why do you do that? Yeah. Th this is where the Manchester okay. United I got, I got is another now. Example. They don't need to be there. They need to so, be signing world-class talent. So you think instead of getting Anwar Bazaka, they'll go to Trippier instead? Oh yes, so they would rather sign. So, yeah, they'd really. rather sign Trippier. I well, it depends if they can get it, if it goes through out the two of them. That was that was rumored to be the case. So no, that's Trippier sort of is going. No, of... Trippier is in Greece. Is why he's more likely to authorize the signing of Harry Maguire for double the money <laughs> than he was to put his hand in his pocket that he would for Koulibaly. Because yeah. no one's heard of Koulibaly. He won't sell. He won't make a lot of money for the club. We don't care. You buy the best players. Man City bought the best players in the positions. Liverpool have had the best transfer policy, one of the best transfer policies I've ever seen the last two years. Yeah. You waited for Naby Keita. Yeah. And um, you waited yeah. for Van Dijk. You identified what goalkeeper you want and you broke the record for it, albeit Chelsea then broke it. But you broke but I think the record. Part of, that, part of that is down to the manager and the stubbornness of our manager Naby to Keita get exactly who he wanted. was a master stroke. Is Van Dijk was a master stroke. When, they, when you didn't sign Van Dijk, everyone <clears> says, Oh, well, where's his option B? Liverpool have had the best transfer policy, one of the best transfer policies I've ever seen the last two years. Yeah. You waited for yeah. Naby Keita. Yeah. And um, you waited yeah. for Van Dijk. You identified what goalkeeper you want, and you broke the record for it. Albeit Chelsea then broke it, but you broke but I think the record. Part of, that is, part of that is down to the manager and the stubbornness of our manager. Naby Keita. To get exactly who he wanted. Was a master stroke. Is Van Dijk was a master stroke. When they when you didn't sign Van Dijk, everyone <clears> says. Oh, well, where's his option B? And they went, we, yeah. we have got other options, but this but is the player we want, want so we're waiting so for him. It's yeah. the equivalent it's of seeing a deal across That's what the Man United should be saying, doing an ant. I want you. And then you're all shy and stuff. Can't be. I'm going to yeah. wait for you. Look, like, right, we've got to wrap it there. I'll watch you. That's enough. But that's my issue with United at the and minute. Then I'll have you. Can you send yeah, this? Get now. Whether you like it or not. I have to make sure I'm a fan of this. Racism, how can you stop it? Oh, guess what? You can't. My least favourite part of the week. Gambling, drinking, racism. What should we talk about today? Uh, you choose. Can I have a racism? I, I think that more players need to come out and stand up against it. I, I, I yeah. think that too, too many players are worried Wayne about... Hennessy? It's breaking that pact. <laughs> and tribal mentality, which is so important. So, it also starts from very small waves. If you hear anyone saying anything remotely racist, racist yeah. and it's against what you believe, don't just stand there and no, smile don't. about it. Call that person out over it. Yes. Stand up for yourself, or just fundamentally say, I've got an issue with what you said. If there's any sort of nonsense like that, you hear in a pack, if it's just one person, if it's 10 pe people, if it's at a stadium, whatever. To call people out, that's that's the first part of, yeah. of doing this because that people need to stand up and they need to be told that like it's not acceptable. It, so that is uh, that is where I believe things can start. And we'll have a look from there. We'll do some research. Mm. That is liquid football podcasting. You've brought not only design expertise with you this week, you've brought a section. What's a the section? Know. He's kept it 11, I'm giving this to Dan Bird. Top six clubs, they, they get celebrated all the damn time. Yep. And it's pretty, the, the best 11, end of the season, it's pretty much all going to be top six. Yeah, team, yeah, top six much. players. Mm -hmm. There's amazing players all throughout the Premier League. And 
uh, some players have been just having blinders this season. And they should be celebrated. Let's do your tap of the level. Go on, then goalkeeper. Just one? Um, just the one? You choose your one. Throw a few out there if you want. I'll choose mine. You choose yeah, yours. All right, Finish. okay. Uh, my goalkeeper, I think I'm putting Fabianski in there. My goalkeeper's going to be Dubravka. And mine is Wayne Hennessy. Right back, outside the right top back. six. That is brilliant, but won't get in the player of the year. I think Wam Saku. Ricardo Pereira. Pereira has been brilliant at that. I'm going to go Pereira. Ten Ten of uh I think... I chose Bong and Dunk, just because I like their names. <laughs> okay. <laughs> good. Yeah, good reason. Dunk That's Bong. Totally fine. I, I'm putting Ake in there. I, I think he's fantastic player. Do you know, I just would check Wolves in the Wolves' yeah, centre-backs. Yeah, pretty much. I just I, think they would. You know, you've got Doherty, obviously, more wing-back, but he's been revelation this yeah. season. Yeah. Um, and yeah, you got uh, Bodhi is kind of is it Bodhi in there? It is kind of a, Cody, Connor Cody, Cody. 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 Dunk as well with Dunk and uh, the set above, as well. yeah, above the, the echelons of average on the peak. They're on the cusp, right? Okay, but they're not okay. They're they're Chris Sutton. They're not Alan Shearer. Left back, Taggart, <laughs> Lowerton. Go on, then. I'm putting I'm putting in. Um, it's it's a simmer. It's not a boil, it's a simmer. I was expecting, carry on, like, carry on. tepid right. as in. Let's do centre mids. We've got to be quicker with this. Come on. Centre mids. Hogan Gosling, my God. <laughs> I'm putting I'm, uh, Brooks, absolutely. Gosling. Neves. I love Neves. Because uh, I've got, like, a, 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 like, a, like, not even a warm bath. It's, like, <laughs> just, you know, when the tap is just about, just He's above, gone just, it's gone up. room temperature. Yeah, it's just yeah. above cold. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Hayovic as well for Palace. Blue. Pick two uh, Fraser and uh, Jossa. I'd probably have Brooks and Fraser. Brooks and Left field. Yeah. I've gone with Sugar Shane Long and Tosin. No, Strikers, just two names. Uh, God. Uh, striker, I'm only having one. I'm going for him. Alright, oh, I got two, I so I'm going Ben Tech here and Mooney. <laughs> He's got Ben Tech. What have gone for? <laughs> Tech in effect. No, oh, no, no. Kiss the ring. Wherever you need me, kiss the wind. Whenever I'm gone too long. Feedback this week. I've never been a feedback. I know we all do. It helps us grow. Great. Helps us learn. Oh. Helps. I go Bis Chan. Yeah. Says keep up the good good work. Yeah. He's attached a winky face. Nice. Okay. Emoji or. Winky face. It was a winky face emoji. It was yeah. emoji. Uh, Francis Bernardi. <laughs> Francis Bernardi. Uh, again, just the cool emoji. Fabrizio Colaccini. Say, say hi to Dan Bird. Hi, okay. Dan. Hey. Says there. Yes. Um, Aaron Moy just says, why though? It's not constructive, Aaron. Paul Scholes says, keep plugging away at the anti gambling bug in football. Luke Nillis, who says, bring back hairy footballers. Sean, Sean Gota says, feed me sweet, sweet football content. Leo Baptista says, oh, beastie. Cool. And that wraps up my feedback for the week. See. Nice. Recently, the player of the year and the young player of the year were announced. Mm. Uh, player How of old the year. is too young? Mm, well. <laughs> <laughs> That's thrown me. Um, <laughs> let's start with the player of the year. Rather than the young yeah. player. Okay, player of the year. Who's your player of the year, boys? Van Dijk. Van Dijk's mine. That is you easy can't for look, me. No, you can't look past Sterling. You can't say Raheem Sterling. You can't I, go past Sterling. I'm I sorry, think, you can't. I think you All can, his generous work that he's I, done, on and off the pitch, standing up against racism. He's iconic this season. He's an iconic player. Van Dijk's been better on the yeah. pitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think you can look Van Dijk's right past Sterling immense. at Van Dijk. I, Van Dijk's I, been immense. My thing on the young player don't is I think there should be a rule where if you've been... A, an established member of the first team at your Irish club Jeff Declan for a number of years, you shouldn't be allowed to be nominated for Young Player of the Year. I think Player of the Year. Yeah. But having Marcus Rashford, Bernardo Silva and Raheem Sterling in there, they're just... I think they should... Players put... like Brooks are never going to get a chance to win it. Yeah. They I know Marcus Silva does need credit. I think there should be... Yeah, but he's... I think there should be a lower the cap on the, on, the, on the edge. I think... Cause, how old then? Because it, it was ridiculous. Old. It was ridiculous having Hazard in the Young Player of the Year for... However many years yeah. in the row that it was, was. yeah, but it does. sure it does. It does. He's he's he's, he's, fat. he's a he's not fantastic a young player. player. He's not young, but yeah, he's not young. Like Bernardo Silva, they're not young now in football. Marcus no. Rashford has been playing first team football and been to World Cups as England's number nine. Well, almost, you know, it's 
Is he's been yeah. to these? He's been as their striker. They're out there, and he's young player of the year. What do you want to go on? Like the the best debut? <laughs> no, it has to be certain age. You know, you certain, need to be. Do you think a certain amount of games as well? It needs to be under twenty, under nineteen. I reckon under nineteen. Oh, say I would at least say under twenty. I, I would at least say like twenty one. Okay. 20, I, I reckon 21. All right, 20, I'd, I'd 20, cap, 20, I'd cap 20, it at 21. Then I'd have a mid range award. <laughs> and then yeah. I'd have play. Okay, well, so. it's, it's either, I think it's either okay, you 21. cap it at 21 or you have another one yeah. underneath it that's like best up and coming. Like America, if it's under, <laughs> yeah. like, like if North America, if it's under 21, don't go near it. <laughs> Thomas Tuchel, after four losses, came out and said, "No one is listening to what I'm saying. This club is rotten from the bottom." I don't you think. Need... I think you're paraphrasing. His words were, "The board are not listening to me. I have 14 first team players out and no youth setup." Need oh. to ha- what you need to do is do the Real Madrid model, which was the Zidane's and the Pavons. Pavon was a youth team player, and he yeah, was brought up through the ranks and they've he came in and he was a squad player. No, but this is what Real Madrid did. We've lived through this era. You know, the Galacticos were a thing. They would go out and break Louis, the transfer record for Luis Figo and wouldn't sign anyone else. They would then go out the next year and break the transfer record for Ronaldo. they break the record for Roberto Carlos, Beckham. All of these things kept coming in, but they couldn't sign anyone else. So when they were signing one, they were signing a Galactico, they couldn't sign anyone else. So they had to have a fucking good youth setup. PSG have no youth setup. Yeah. None. This model will not work. <laughs> Because you've got financial fair play, reg- which means you can't sign anyone potentially for two seasons. Mm. If you if Cavani gets injured, you haven't got another striker. Is it your turn to do the trick with the eight? I didn't think I was. It's not. Is it yours? Yeah. Yeah. Do I have to be in the room? Hit the air. Can I just... To the end of the little week. Thank you very much, Dan Bird. Dan Bird, on. thank you so much. Right. Yeah, thank you for coming back on. Um, yeah, it's been a good week. What do you reckon? I'm pretty good. Phones. Glad you calmed down after our... After Man United. Yeah, I did mm. chill out more, after that. That was more good. rage surfacing. You can follow us on all social media. All at of that. Touchline, rant everywhere. <laughs> Any special um, events going on? Maybe. Keep an eye on our social media. We may have a special event no, no, coming no. up. Like there, there's another one as well. There is another one, isn't there? Yeah, that one. Yeah, there is another one as Thank well. Um, happy birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday, Ben. Have a good one. We'll be at Depot. We'll be at Depot on May the 2nd. May the 2nd. For Ben Jam. Ben Jam, please check Come it out. Come down. Have a look. We'll put a link in to yeah. Ben Jam. Have a look. Today would have been his birthday, so it's very good. I'm glad that I'm here doing this after last week as well on his birthday. So, yeah, happy birthday, Ben.